Hello, I am employed here to offer the very quick disclaimer regarding the following information. What you are about to hear is, strictly not meant for medical or prescriptive purposes. And we merely research medical and scientific industries to relay significant information for educational benefit. We ourselves are in love with the difference of incorporating lots of turmeric, curcuminoids, for the multitude of phytonutrients. Welcome to another Organic Health Revelating video. I'm Robert Lees and today, with feeling the need to have a cannon-proof immunity, I thought it would be great to share with you my desire to pinpoint exactly how turmeric for our immune system works. I discovered so many more studies and uncovered much more new information in how curcumin is excelling and being part of treatment for many autoimmune diseases. So please, remember to subscribe and stay up to date with what modern plant nutrient medicines are doing. In this quick video, I'm going to break down how good turmeric is very powerful, direct from New Age Health and Science. We know about white blood cells and red blood cells, right? Well, like many of us, I never knew of any others. As it turns out, our white blood cells are like our king of an army of a few other principal cells. For current turmeric studies, we are looking at T cells, B cells, macrophages, NK lymphoma cells, dendritic cells. Now these cells have all been identified to do different things, good and bad. Science has individually tested and discovered that the effect from curcumin curcuminoids offer a positive reaction in each of them. I was like far out. I have to show people this as simply as I can. And I want to share with you what turmeric actually does to these immune cells. T cells are like our frontline soldiers. Studies have revealed that curcumin can adjust or modulate the production and activation of T cells. B cells are found in our bone marrow. They are extremely important. B cells are responsible for generating specific antigens that develop into antibodies that kill bacteria. Curcumin is shown to stop rogue lymphoma B cells by decreasing its production, stopping full-blown cancer. Macrophages are our elite killing machines. Again, turmeric can increase or decrease their production, making curcumin very attractive in autoimmune disease research. NK lymphoma cells are cells that serve to perform a perimeter primarily around viruses. They are also common cells that go rogue and are responsible to be the forebearers to cancerous cells. The agents in turmeric stop rogue cells and can also take control of already infected cancerous cells and stop their productivity. Dendritic cells produce a compound called CD80, which also can go rogue. Rogue CD80 has been found to be the leading cause for most autoimmune diseases. Curcumin is seen to stop the production of CD80 from dendritic cells. That information alone makes turmeric more than awesome to help increase your immunity. But I also want to add something that is highly relevant. And when a little common sense is added to the mix, it's a no-brainer. That is getting back to turmeric's most recognized benefit and reasons of how turmeric helps your immune system, which is curcumin's ability it has to act upon inflammation, where it is a very impactful attribute to act as an immune shield. As it is found that nearly all threatening disease and illness is from a root cause of inflammation. Turmeric has become a fortress for my own immunity and many of those that I love. I welcome you to check out the links for the full article and verified research. Or if you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.